Hello and welcome to our lesson on the TI-84 Plus CE student course. In this video we are focusing on the calculator home screen and unit conversions. And some of the things we're going to look at are how to access the built-in side tools app, looking at unit conversions, using the significant figures calculator uh, app part of the app, and demonstrating how we can convert decimal degrees to degrees, minutes and seconds. To access the app, go into apps and because it's side tools, I'm going to scroll up to near the bottom because there it is there. It's alphabetical and it says press any key to go into it. And you can see that uh, we're going to look at two today, unit converter and the sig fig. But there are also another couple that you can actually look at in your own time. The unit converter, number two, can convert any of these units that you want. And, and obviously you can have um, a play with any of these and any of these may be of interest to you, but I'm going to focus on length. And we can see here there's lots of different units. Uh, some of these that you may never have heard of before. For example, this is femtometer. This one here is ang angstrom. This is mil, as it is. This is rods, which is used in uh, nautical terms. We've also got nautical miles and light years, if you're buzz light year or you want to go into space. But most of the ones you're going to focus on are millimeter, centimeter, meter, kilometer, inches, feet, yards, miles, fathoms. So how do we use it? Well, we simply type in a number, let's say one kilometer. So we come down, press enter, and it will say, what do you want to convert it to? And I want to convert it to miles. Press enter, and there you go. That is what one kilometer is in miles. If we want to then to export that number, we simply press the export button, which is going to be in this case F3. And we get out of the app by pressing second quit. And there is how many uh, miles is one kilometer. And we can simply go back into the app and use a similar functionality for other unit conversions if you wanted to convert between um, other units, for example, if we we're going into length, and we want to go from miles, come down, back to kilometers. Then we know it's going to be the inverse of that. And there is the answer. 1.6 kilometers is roughly a mile, and then again we can export it and use it however we want. So hopefully you found that useful. To use the significant figures function, we're going to press second quit to get back to the tool selection. Press sig figs and let's just do some calculations to see what happens. So we can do some calculations here. It already tells us that this is rounded to four significant figures. And notice that we've got it in scientific mode, so it's going to give us our answers in scientific mode and hence the reason why it rounds it to the certain number of significant figures. If we then change it to decimal mode using our F3 key and do another calculation, we can see that it will round it to a certain number of significant figures as before, and we can get an idea of what's actually happening with these calculations. If we don't want a number to affect the significant figures, then we would use the exact button and then we would just run our calculation as normal and it will give us our answers to the significant figures that we had before. My final part of this lesson is to show you how we can convert decimal degrees to degrees, minutes and seconds. So let's just use this as an example, this number from before. Let's say we wanted this 0 0.6 in degrees, minutes and seconds. Well, degrees, minutes and seconds is a measurement in angles. So we're going to go into angle, which is in blue and we can convert to degrees, minutes, and seconds. And that is what 0 0.62 is in degrees, minutes, and seconds. But the really nice uh, part of this feature is that we can sort of misuse it for time as well, because we could see that as degrees, minutes, and seconds, but you could also see it as hours, minutes, and seconds. For example, let me say we know that 3.25 is three and a quarter hours. And if we wanted to convert that, to degrees, minutes, and seconds. Let me just be lazy and go off and copy the answer function. We know that that's three hours and 15 minutes. So the really nice thing about that, and let's just use pi as another example, uh, that's gonna be less than 
three hours 15 because we know that 3.1 that 0.25 is three and a quarter hours so we can go up and copy that again and we can see that it will tell us that pi in time is three hours eight minutes and 29.7 seconds a really nice feature and very useful especially when you're doing some graphing stuff and you want to look at time at certain points hopefully you found that useful and thanks for watching